because you're not really correcting nothing. Okay, you're just tampering, man. And that's what you do on this earth. You tamper with the stuff the Most High has created, man. Okay, uh, this psalm here can be found in um, uh, this verse. Sorry, can be found in Psalms 53 and 1 also. Okay, this is First Corinthians chapter 3 and 19. And it says here, for, for this, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Okay, so you, you think you so, it's all one he's so intelligent, okay? He's so intelligent with his, with his, with his science and, and, and his technology, okay, and his, his wealth and his power, that, you know, that he's, that he's, that he's gained. That is the most high, that which the most high has given him, you know, I might I add, okay, he can get off his own fucking work, okay? No, so I gave him this knowledge. Okay, it is foolishness, man. Okay, you're not really wise. Okay, you, 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 um, you seem wise to the idiots out there, man. Okay, that's why all these idiots come up to the camp, proclaiming that they know something, man, because some scholar, some scientist wrote a book about it, man, which is full of bullshit. Okay, and everybody just regurgitates the same shit that they, that was written in those fucking books, man. I ain't done I ain't done a damn bit of research in their whole fucking life. A lot of these, a lot of these scholars, a lot of these science men, they just write books based on other people's books, man. Okay, rather than doing any damn research themselves, man. They they read a bunch of different books and they they come up with a summary of what they believe is you know the truth of the matter. Okay, rather than do any fucking experiments from themselves, man. A lot of a lot of those fucking scholars and students do that, man. Okay, I was in university myself, man. That's the sort of shit that goes on, man. You just copy from one book and you mold, you you get the idea from that book. You mold it with this other book. Okay, oh yeah, that kind of makes sense. I, yeah, I think that sounds closer to the, you know, and, and then you, you write your dissertation, man. But I didn't do no fucking experiments, man. I did, you know what I mean? <laughs> You might do something menial, but it's not your knowledge, man. And the, the day you you just regurgitated some something else that someone else writ, okay, which doesn't make it true, only because that some one person or group of people agree in a certain matter does not make it true. Because one thing you should know that information is manipulated in this world, man. Okay, you you only know what they want you to know. Because it suits their devices. Okay, so unless you went out to space and land on the moon for your damn fucking self, man, don't believe that we landed on the moon. Oh, because someone told you we did and showed you some sort of footage that could have been filmed in anywhere. When I mean anywhere, I mean any fucking studio. Hollywood's a fucking great place for that, okay? You know, you can't believe everything just because someone told you it, man. Okay, and, and they, they kind of botched up some sort of evidence to make you believe it. Okay. It says, for it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Okay, so you profess, you know, you people profess that you're wise and you think you know shit, man. The more I will make you a fool, man. The brothers will make you a fool. So a lot of these brothers are clued, clued up in, in certain um, areas of, of this world's knowledge, man. Okay, they'll make you look like a fool, man. Because you, you you don't know what you're talking about. You don't even know what they you know, the book that you read. You don't really understand that book, man. But because it's the, uh, what is it, common, I don't want to use the word sensitive, but I don't think that's don't think right. But because it's the common idea, you know, that, that, is, that is the truth, you think you can just spew it out all the damn time and generally people will believe you and accept it. Because no one else knows anything damn fucking different. Everyone else is even more stupider than you are. But scripture tells you, man, uh, even a fool that keeps his mouth shut, well, I'm paraphrasing, is counted to be wise, man. So those people don't, they never read that damn, that damn book in their life, but kept their mouth shut and didn't try to talk about it. They're wiser than you are, man. Thinking that you know something. This is Psalms 92.
have chapter four, oh, verse four. It says, For thou, Lord, has made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of thy hands. O Lord, how great are thy works! And their me, and thy thoughts are very deep. A brutish man knoweth not, neither doth a fool understand this. Okay, they don't understand that the most I cradle everything that we see around here, man. Okay? They try they try and find some other explanation to how life was created, how the planets were created, how the universe was created. They try and find some other reason because for them the idea of, of a all powerful God creating the universe is too far fetched for them. Because they've never seen him. Okay, but you still cannot really explain anything that goes on. Okay, you make it sound like you do, but really you don't. Because there's always going to be the other layer of questioning afterwards. If you find out one thing, there's always going to be that that next step. You can you're never going to be able to go back to the beginning. There's there's no way. But like I said, you you don't want to believe it. purely because you're just the devil, man. No, you don't want to believe that the Most High did everything, man. That higher power than you done everything that can dictate what's what's right and what's wrong made everything man you don't want to accept that okay it's Proverbs chapter 18 verse 7 it says a fool's mouth is his destruction and his lips are the snare of his soul because okay, they just chat shit and it's evident when they come to the camps man they just chat shit don't matter what it's about man doesn't matter if the humans coming up talking shit man doesn't have to be science could be religion it's still a fool a lot of these Muslims don't even recognize that their 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 faith extends from the Catholic Church man he's a fool okay anyone anyone comes with knowledge that is Contrary to, to the to the Bible, okay, to the scriptures, man, it's a fool. Okay, and there's certain things that the Bible will back up that these people don't even know about, man. You know, oh yeah, but you know, the Bible said the earth is flat. No, the Bible doesn't say the earth is flat. Okay, the Bible will tell you that the earth is round. Okay, they're just they're just fools, they don't they don't read, they don't know nothing, man. Okay, this is um Proverbs 24 and 7 it says here wisdom is too high for a fool he openeth not his mouth in the gate okay so like I said the brothers you know out there you know they'll 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 tell people wisdom and knowledge man but a fool is not going to understand man okay it's too much for him to understand okay the most has shut him down man Okay, those bells, heavy bells are, are running through his head, man. Through his eyes, he can't see shit. Okay, you won't get it. Proverbs 13 and 16. So every prudent man dealeth with knowledge, but a fool layeth open his folly. A prudent man is someone that... that that goes into things man okay that looks searches out a matter okay like I said these people don't really search out no matter man they just regurgitate things that they've read based on another person's understanding okay like I said doesn't, doesn't that doesn't make that un the understanding of that person correct okay so that guy is not really prudent okay so he's not really dealing with knowledge Okay, but a fool lay open his folly because he, he he's boosted up by what he believes is the truth, which he believes which he believes is knowledge. Okay, he gets proud and feels like he has to say something, man. That he has to add his two pence in, man. Like he was the one that did that study or did that research when he wasn't. So really, he should just shut up, man. Okay.
This is Ecclesiastes. Chapter 10, verse 14. It says, A fool also is full of words. A man cannot tell what shall be and what shall be after him. Who can tell him? Okay? That we know. Okay, brothers, you know, we, we, we know the end times. We know what's going to happen here. Okay? We know these people are going to get put into slavery. Okay, we know this place is going to be destroyed. Okay, he thinks this, that's never going to happen. These people right here, man. But, you know, there's no denial, man. Evidently, the kingdom's falling apart. Sirach chapter 18, verse 27. says here a wise man will fear, fear in everything and the day of sinning he will be aware of offense but I feel a fool will not observe time okay like I said these people don't really recognize that they're in the last days man they don't recognize that the kingdom is breaking apart okay they don't they don't realize that World War 3 is on the verge they don't understand that their, their life is about to come to an end Okay, they don't see these things, man. They're not observing time. They, they they're still having, still having a good time shopping up in Oxford Street and shit, acting like nothing's going on, man. Believing that they they can come back next weekend and and do the same shit. Still planning for that fucking holiday. Still plan to pay the mortgage off. Okay, still plan to to, to get married in a couple of years or whatever, man. A couple of years may not come, man. You might be seeing hell, hellfire missiles a lot sooner, okay? But like, like it says here, they, they just don't observe the time. They can't distinguish what's going on. They're in the dark, okay? Surah twenty and seven. So the wise man will hold his tongue till he see opportunity, but a babbler and a fool will guard no time. A, a babbler, he, he just can't shut up, man. He has to say something all the time, no matter if he's correct or not. Okay, hence, when you get those, those proud devils that just walk by, they're not even in the conversation, man. He, he's walking past and he has to say some shit. You no, know, he has to open his mouth about something. Okay, he couldn't just continue walking down the street, man. He had to say something, man. Okay. Sometimes these things don't need to be said, man. And every time someone does that, man, the Lord's just marking you, man. Okay? But scorners get marked on a daily basis, man. But you, you don't understand that, man. It's right, 21 and 18. As is a house that is destroyed, so is wisdom to a fool. And the knowledge of the unwise is as talk without sense. Okay, these people don't talk no sense, man. And here, here it is. They'll, they'll tell us that, oh, we're mad and, and all this shit. Okay, we actually understand the, the things that are going on around here, man. Okay, we're not the mad ones, man. You're the mad ones. Okay, we might be the extreme ones, but we're not the mad ones. You're the mad ones. Okay, we're not unwise, man. You're the unwise. And what you took it don't make no fucking sense. Proverbs chapter one verse seven. It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Okay. The problem is these people right here don't fear the Lord, man. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Okay? They don't like it. Because they believe they're already wise.